Onigashimasu. Welcome back to the Gojuryu Karate Center. Uh, this week we're going to have a little bit of continuation. Fuku Kata. We're going to run through Fuku Kata Dai Sun. Um, as far as I understand, the Fuku Kata Dai Sun sequencing is pretty much the IP of Sensei Terry Ochinen. And he had obviously shared that with many, many students around the world. It is a fantastic way to develop hip work and power, and more importantly, to develop different power systems. And that is something that is not natural for most people. We have to work on it. So, uh, without further ado, let's go through the kata and the basic sequencing, and then go from there. So, Fuku Kata Dai San. Yeah, turn, block, Gyakuzuki, pivot, block, Nihonzuki, Maigiri, Oizuki. Turn, block, Gyakuzuki, pivot, Gidamburai, Nihonzuki, Maigiri, Oizuki. Get on Burai, Kyakuzuki, get on Burai, Nihonzuki. First big change, Age Uke. Chudan Uke. Get on Burai. Turn, block, punch, block, double punch, Age Uke. Block, Punch, block, double punch, age uke. San bon zuki, mai geri jo dan zuki, mai geri chu dan zuki, mai geri ge dan zuki. Turn, block, punch, block, double punch, mai geri jo dan zuki, block, punch, Block, double punch, front kick, high punch. One, feet together. Two, three, four, and five. Somebody in my dojo asked me, Sensei, why do we finish some kata this way and some kata this way? Think of the ending of your kata as the final piece of artistry on any painting. It is the signature of the artist. When we do it this way, with a high, we tend to be paying our tribute to Sensei Terio Chinen and maybe that Jundo Kan international lineage. When we finish lower and then come through smoothly, we're basically paying tribute to the Jundo Kan Shohambu and OGKK type lineages. So, Think of each group having their own unique little quirky signature at the end of every kata. All right, so that's the basic template for Fuku Kata Dai Sun. And the most important thing that you see is the turning and locking on the first movement. The hip drives, then the pivot. Something that we often don't practice enough, and that's why I think since Sensei Chinen built it into the kata, is this intense pivot and block. And then the pivot to drive the punch back, and then to try and stabilize, kick, down, and punch. So, we're trying to generate power through different means. Earlier on, I mentioned that we do either a swinging step where you might go around and block, or you could have the cross step and then the hip rotating. You find which one works for you and which one develops your kata more naturally as you go through it in time. What tends to happen with the extensive cross stepping is that the kata starts to stagnate, where when you let the kata go free and you just run with it, then you tend to have more that swiveling swinging type step. Especially when you're obsessing with generation of power and to try and generate as much power within your kata and just holding the form as much as possible so that the kata becomes this somewhat realistic 
living thing for those few moments in time where you're immersed in it. The immersion of one's mind in and one's body into kata is the same as a fight simulation. And you need to dedicate and get the entire body into it, mentally as well as physically. And the more you do this, the more your kata becomes tangible to yourself. Obviously, it is coupled with bunkai and, and with uh, partner work. Without that, there is nothing. So there has to be partner work. There has to be a breakdown of the movements in, in, into basic snippets or kehon, or maybe even some combinations that create a linear effect, um, and that you train so that you can become better and better at it. But mentally and psychologically, the moment you start to bow, uh, my first sensei said it's like there's a switch in your head. You're flipping the switch, and you're switching into karate mode, and it's absolute focus so that you can get on with the kata. The kata itself is not overly complicated. It has a repetition of the same principles from Fuku Dai Ich, and then the build on in Fuku Dai Ni, and in Fuku Dai Sun, we add the combination Gedan, Chidan, Gedan, Double Punch, or Nihon Zuki, and then we're carrying on with whatever else happened. When we go to the back, let me run through this section. The first ki that we've traditionally always done is pivot, san bonzuki, and they're on the same level. They're a chudan level. So I know some schools do one, two, three. We, for a long time, three punches, one height. Thereafter, as we go to the back, we are doing the different heights. Okay. The rest of the kata is virtually the same. Training that goes with this, starting in gyakuzuki and pivoting and doing gyakuzuki to help drive that hip movement. All right, blocking, punching. This is again part of what we're doing that's creating this kind of power. Let's see, I think we can do the next one is block, double punch. Ah, no pivot required. Double punch, load, double punch, load, double punch. Try and build combinations like this helps your kata develop. A different type of stepping that helps to create that power and the feeling of the entire body working in uh, Zen Kutsudach and with the Gyakuzuki. So anybody who spent uh, Makiwara time with Sinta Chinin or pad work time should remember something like this. The front foot, stepping, you retreat backwards, the back foot, turning, and you lock. So step, turn, lock. Step, turn, lock. Very important is trying to stay down so that you're not getting this kind of effect. This is wrong. Try, stay down, compress the body down. And then obviously, you add your gyakuzuki. It is critical that this, even if it's done in fresh air, is transferred to a partner. Brian, blue sponge, quickly, let's go. Beginners, sponge, cool. All right, so I would be doing one, Try lock as you drop, okay? It's this hip rotation that you're trying to facilitate, a nice smooth hip rotation. For more advanced students, get a telephone directory. I don't know if you have these all over the world. 
South Africa, they're becoming rather rare. Um, this is our is a telephone directory. This one's dated 2008. A former student of mine found a whole lot. He said, Senator Jagger, I brought these. I know you use them. Telephone directory, more senior students. Okay. And oh, you could even staple it to a tree or a wall, you know? It's okay. So. My, one of my favorite exercises. And you use that. That now doubles as conditioning for your partner. For you, it's conditioning on the front two knuckles. It's a mobile makiwara. All right, hey, Brian. Partner work and Fuku Katadai Sun kind of are tethered together. Other ideas that we've done in our dojo is we put two, team of three, person here, person here, pivot, 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 and each person's holding a sponge, help teach that engagement of the hip. Move the partners to the side. Brian, bring the sponge back, we'll just do one half. There we go. So, I now practice the hip into the get umber eye, and trying to link it to my pivot and my lock, I can have a partner here and a partner here, so I can do one, one, two, one, two. I can practice it on the pivot, I can practice it on the pivot back, and you can have a field day just with those couple of movements that you find. Hey, thanks Brian. I'll run through the kata one more time, adding in the key eyes, and hopefully you can see what it looks like. So my favorite fitness kata, if you think of kata being fitness, um, do fuku kata dai ich, upgrade to fuku kata dai ni, upgrade to fuku kata dai san, upgrade to seyunchen. Start again. Ich ni san seyunchen. And build the heart rate, sweaty, <laughs> huffing and puffing, and get to seyunchen, concentration on. and breathing. Obviously, the more that you're entrenched within maybe a system like OGKK, where breathing is not audible, it doesn't mean that breathing does not occur. It just means... Breathing is not audible, that's all it means. Okay, so, the, uh, audible breathing is good for people to hear, by the way, it's why teachers do it a lot of the time. Okay, Fuku Kata Dai Sai. broke the mic. <laughs> but please, nobody doesn't shout at me. <sighs> ah, fixed. So, as you can see, instant sweat, uh, shortness of breath, the kata has a high, high level of exertion. You have to work on it.
That's it for today. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Sayonara. We're gonna turn to the left and get down the right. Chew down the zuki. Same arm, repeat, block. Ah, I'm doing a few cuts today. It's an income boop. All right, retake.